Hey guys, welcome back. I hope everyone is having a great week and thanks for joining us if it's your first time here today. Now this Gmail tutorial has been a popular request from both our viewers and our clients. So today I'm going to show you exactly how you can transfer your emails from an old Gmail to a new Gmail in 2021. Now this process we have found to be important for our small business clients, those that have started off using a free Gmail setup for their business. However, as their business grows and expands, they need to transition into a paid Google Workspace account or formerly known as G Suite, which offers a professional paid Gmail service and more. You also have access to professional emails. Essentially, these individuals need to transfer their emails from one Gmail to another. And this is exactly what we're going to walk you through today. Now, just quickly, guys, before we launch into this Gmail tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. And that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to grow your small business online. And with that happy note out the way, let's go ahead and transfer your emails from one Gmail to another. <music> Okay, so first things first, what we need to do is log into our old Gmail. So this is the Gmail account where you want to move your emails from and transfer them to your new Gmail account. Now your new Gmail account could be a free Gmail or it could be a Google Workspace, formerly known as G Suite account. Okay, so here we are on our free example Gmail account. And this is where we want to take these three emails and move them over to our new Gmail account. As you can see, this is an example Gmail account that we're gonna use for the purpose of this tutorial. And that is why we only have three emails. So you might have hundreds, thousands of emails that you want to transfer over. This is gonna be the exact same process. Okay, so on your old Gmail, what we need to do is navigate up to settings and come down and select see all settings. Here we want to navigate over to forwarding and pop slash IMAP and select here. Then come down to pop download and select enable pop for all email. Then navigate down to when messages are accessed with pop, select this section here and then come down to mark Gmail's copy as read. Then just navigate down to save changes. Okay, so that is it for the first part. Now what we can do is navigate over to our new Gmail account. And this is the account where we want to actually import these emails from the old Gmail into our new Gmail account. So go ahead and log into your new Gmail and we'll meet you there. Okay, so now we're about to show you an example of how to import emails from a free Gmail to a new free Gmail account. Now to do that, here we are on the new Gmail. What we want to do is navigate over to settings, come down to see all settings, then simply navigate over to accounts and import, come down to import mail and contacts, and then simply navigate up to the top left hand side and enter in your old Gmail. So this is the Gmail account that we want to import emails from, then come down and click continue. Then here, all we need to do is follow the step-by-step -step process. So select continue, then come down and select the Gmail account. If you can't see that Gmail account, the one that you want to import emails from, then navigate down to use another account and sign in with that account. So what we're going to do is import emails from this account and then come down and select allow. Then when you see this success message, what you want to do is close this window and that's going to take you back to this page. And after a few moments, you'll arrive at step two, import options. Then down here, what we want to do is select the importing options that work for us. So for example, I can go ahead and import contacts as well as importing mail. And I can also import new mail for the next 30 days. So if this business email, so remember this is a free Gmail account. If I keep receiving emails over the next 30 days, then those emails are going to be automatically imported into this new Gmail. So you have the option to turn that on or off. I'm going to turn that off and just import contacts and import mail. Then all you need to do is simply click start import. And just like that, you'll arrive at step three, which is finished. You've just completed the importing process. Now it may take several hours, sometimes up to two days before you start to see imported messages. So what I'm going to do is click OK. 
and then navigate to my new inbox and then just simply click refresh to see your newly imported emails. Now, if you don't see any new emails, remember it does take time. So after a few hours, come back here, refresh your inbox and see if those emails have been imported into your new Gmail. So as you can see, it's a very straightforward process to migrate emails from one free Gmail account to another free Gmail account. Okay, now the last thing that I want to cover that is extremely important for those that want to import emails into Google Workspace or formerly known as G Suite, it is a slightly different process. So what we're going to do is navigate over to our G Suite Google Workspace account and let's say we want to import those three emails from an old free Gmail account into our Google Workspace G Suite account, then what we need to do first to enable the importing feature is we need to head over to admin.google. So for example, let's head over to settings and then navigate down to see all settings. Remember, this is in our Google Workspace G Suite Gmail account. Now, if we navigate over to accounts, you can see that we only have access to accounts. We can't actually access accounts and imports like we can with the free version of Gmail. So if you're wanting to import emails into your G Suite account, what we need to do is first head over to admin.google.com. Now, if you don't have access, you're going to have to ask your admin permission for them to enable this feature. But what we're going to do is guide you through this process. Alternatively, you can navigate over to your apps and then find your admin access panel here. So I'm going to select admin. And here, what we need to do within our Google admin is go ahead and enable the import feature. So to do that, navigate over to apps and then simply select Google Workspace. Here, we just want to come down and select Gmail and then simply navigate down to setup. And then finally, all we need to do is click on user email uploads and then select this importing option here and then come down and click save. And as you can see, user email upload settings updated. Now these changes can take up to 24 hours to propagate to all users. So you might not be able to see accounts and import for up to 24 hours. So you do need to be patient. So now what I'm going to do is head back to my Google Workspace G Suite settings. And as you can see, after waiting for about five minutes for the propagation to finish, we now have accounts and import. And if I come down to import mail and contacts, we now have the same option as we showed you earlier to import emails into G Suite. So just like I showed you at the beginning of this tutorial, you can follow the exact same process by simply clicking import mail and contacts in your Google Workspace G Suite account. It's a very straightforward process. I hope that all made sense and you're able to migrate your emails from an old Gmail to your new Gmail, free Gmail or G Suite Google Workspace. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Gmail email migration tutorial for beginners. Now, if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, remember to leave a comment, smash the like button, and if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe. And that way, I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.